Presenting make me feel like we just but what you guys think of that video? Yes, you guys know how we do it. We bring you, you know, fresh off the top, brand new. Yes, we're always the first to have it. Yes, yes, thank us later. So yes, that's twenty three video and we're gonna be analyzing that video, you know, with my you know, bright minds, Emerald and Menuga and how are you guys doing today? Let's start with that. We're good. I'm good. Well, I'm good. I'm not speak for people. <laughs> How are you doing today? Uh, I think good. Now that you see me, you'd be a lot better, right? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> 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 Anyways, um, let's talk about this video. How do you guys feel about it? I mean, it's boring. It's 23. It's, it's a new video that just dropped after we received the Grammy. Mm. So, you know, a lot was expected. Have that at the back of your mind. Did it meet your expectations? Like, did you think the first project or body of work Bono Boy will be dropping after the Grammy will be? Well, I mean, it obviously did not make this video after, after the Grammys. Yeah, like, this course. video has already been cooked and... But do you think they served. should have just, you know, re-strategized? No, uh, so because, yeah, was like, uh, he did a great Please, I beg, you should continue to do what he, he wants. I don't even think you should have to do too much and go too far away from who he is because he's won a Grammy. I feel like nobody wants that. Like, no one wants mm. a bougie vibe version. If, if he's going to be doing what he is trying to suggest, where, like, now I have a Grammy, so everything I do have to be, One has point. to be really, like, yeah. perfect. I feel like he's he going to want to, you know... Do that. Get up. No, I think he will want to do more. better, but I don't think he's the kind of person that will now start forming perfection. I mean, if you okay. look at, if you look I'm at, going to shoot videos on the moon. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's, I think he's always going to have vibes. I mean, even when he won the award, he still spoke in Nigeria. Yeah. Like this guy doesn't look like somebody that is going to be faced. Fake yeah, I mean, he's going to try and do better, but I don't think he's going to change that much. Anyway, twenty three has a very like inspirational melodramatic mm. vibe to it so i think i'll let it pass because the video too had that vibe yeah i i, I did see some intentionality with the people that he put in so mm. i'm guessing yeah. that there's more it's one of those things to um taylor swift is very good at that like it looks like a very simple video but, but there's a lot of very, meanings yeah. behind yeah. it like where the person was where the video was shown was in her grandfather's house where he was last place that he saw her and she's the one that said something magical to her you know that kind of stuff so like I feel like maybe that's something that has gone on with that because he is quite intentional. Mm. Um, I don't know why it was athlete um, yeah, themed. That's, mm. that's yeah, the one maybe I didn't. Maybe because it's talking about twenty three, which is um, Jordan, and that is um, sports. Mm. I guess so. I guess so. I just mm, yeah. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. Well, it well, has to be that. athletic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think that's like the only valid explanation. Yeah, yeah. he's the only boner boy that can tell you. That's my own. I mean, no, it makes a lot of yeah, sense. Yeah. It makes a lot it, of what, sense. What else is the song? Uh, what else is the message is passing there aside the whole athlete? Basically, that, that music, music makes me feel like, like I'm the champion. best. Yeah, like, like he's champion. the best thing. Yeah, uh, yeah basically. I mean, because Michael Jordan is the best thing that's well. happened to sports. Exactly. Yeah, to, to um, basketball. basketball. Mm, I was going to say, let's say <laughs> all that let's really tailor, quickly. Yeah, to basketball, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I like that it was also sponsored by them as mm. well. Um, mm -hmm. They supported the music clearly. Had all the like logos flying around. What's your take on that advert placement in our movies? You know, I was watching a Nigerian movie yesterday that is number three on Netflix, and then I was watching, and there was this ad that was just very big. Like the, they went away from the movie. I just put the name of the brand on the screen, white, and the brand, and I'm like, what? Brand what? what brand of course, that? I can't mention it because okay. they're not paying me. Pay me my money if you want me. I know you know yourself. Just call me and pay me. I will mention your brand. <laughs> I'll tell my boss similar. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Nigerians are still have they have a very long way to go in terms of um advert placement, product placement. Mm. This guy, Falayo, thinks he does it well. He's always mm. talking about how he does it so creatively. Mm -hmm. But well, he's not so... He's so, yeah. so, oh, what's that in the air? Oh, oh, I oh, cannot uh, find the name. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm talking oh, yeah. about? Oh, oh, that place. It's a bird. Oh, it's a place. It's, oh my God, ah, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> it's not as creative as he likes to think it is. There's still a lot more um, um, creativity that can be, mm. you know, t um, tuned into. Because we see it in a lot of foreign movies as well. We're, I think we're actually, we're actually trying. <laughs> yes, it's we've been trying for 20,000 years. Like, we've it is been too trying. much. We said the same thing when... Um, Way too big video came out with the old lager beer um, advert placement that he did in Lager that. Beer as well. gave me money, 
What? No, lager beer is lager beer is lager beer. Uh, uh, not for the name of the why did, beer. Why did you? Why did you mention? No, lager beers are different. They're, they're fair, different fair, fair, lager fair, beers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm calling it. That's a general name for okay, all of them. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, your mom, <laughs> they should give me. Hey, 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 hey. I will call them. Hey. I'm even sipping them in this. Are they even talking? So, um, how are you guys? Lager beer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, the, that is all the people that make beer. They will pay me. Mm. Ah, ah, I'm <laughs> boss up. No, I'm boss up. <laughs> I employ you people. <laughs> anyway, go on. Anyways, go on. so um, with um, Way Too Big, we saw that as well, and a lot of people were like, come on, this. But then I didn't blame him too much because when his sister, not Nisi, the other one now that, that does the styling as well, came out to say that she found his, um, what's it called now? It's Jono, mm -hmm. where he detailed every bit of way too big video so everything you see in ways too big was directed by bono boy from his journal do you understand he wrote everything this is how i won the video so this is what he wanted to do for that beer brand do you understand so that was his thought and they just decided to i think to they bring do a fantastic life. job in comparison yeah. to movies in my opinion i no. think the way these artists place their mm, music yeah. their, their their brands is so much better and i guess maybe it's just because it's a different Okay. concept entirely yeah. like a movie and a, and a music video are just completely different things maybe i don't know i've i, I don't yeah, direct it's, it's i don't movie, direct stuff in the movie if i be what this movie you'll be upset see that movie that you know see, the movie i'm talking about right that one was bad see no this one is worse this one they, they went to a car dealership they wanted to buy a car next thing they just called the name of the brand and the screen went white and ah. they now wrote the name so they went away from the scene from what oh, they were doing they to just that in one other movie as well what that yeah, was a complete terrible. two second advert placement in a movie no, that guys, i was watching on, on netflix on netflix how now i think we're trying we're not trying we're working we're backwards not. the we're only thing we've been doing since morning is updating our cinematography level and we've been doing that since the level of um details to dialogue yeah, casting yeah. still yeah. still terrible like anyways anyways I think, I think 23 is a wonderful video i think it has a cinematographic cinematic feel to it and mm. um i just yeah, i want to like, ask him why they were all women they were all women yeah mm. that's a, that's 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 they were all women there was that's all of them that's, that's actually child. a good one question one boy one yeah. child yeah that's actually a good question me I, obviously i'm down with that and guys 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 <laughs> i want to be the first to tell that. you guys so you have to watch tea time every day because bonner boy will be joining us on the set very, oh, very <laughs> so you have to watch it ah, i said somebody joined you think i don't <laughs> speak with facts i said we spit out fat like it's breakfast but well i'm a jerry show very jerry fast bonner boy is coming relax your mind so you have to you I'm, I won't tell you what day, so you don't miss the show. Mm. Eh? We have views. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> let's move on. And our first agenda for the day is um, one of the top racing teams and um, one of the top racing teams in racing, McLaren Racing, has signed a promising young driver of Nigerian descent, Ugo Ugochuku, to a long-term contract. Ugochuku from the United States has proven to be a revelation in sports at just age 13. He is the son of Nigerian supermodel Oluchi Onweadba, known as Oluchi. The Nigerian model based in New York is one of Nigeria's most influential women. She has two sons with her husband, Luca Olandi, an Italian fashion designer, and together they have two sons. It will be recalled that they signed a young Lewis Hamilton, who has gone on to dominate the Formula One, the most prominent racing championship in the world. And we can't help but, you know. <coughs> Amazing. We why? can't help but just you know, why? Like this. <laughs> no, it's just um, the comments on social media that makes me laugh What's when what? i think about that this story broke on, i'm not going to give anyone free whatever but this story broke on a, on a blogger's site and i was like oh that's so cool and then i went to the comment section <laughs> and they're like it will not now. better for nigeria uh, it was not, you know like growing and raising children up yeah. here is is quite limited and it is extremely limited guys that's the reason why the story is actually here today Absolutely. It's mm. not because we are not proud yeah. of um, Ugo Chuku. Absolutely. And I think um, Oluchi is someone that's very dear to yeah. me. Um, to, to me, because growing up, she was the, one of the first people that were dark skinned, that were represented positively ever, mm. that I first saw on mm. TV. True. Like, first True. ever. Like, she oh, was. what's this dark skinned girl looking 
doing for on television. And it's not like a bad thing. Like she's not the witch or the annoying sister mm. or something like that. So she really helped a lot as a young girl and stuff. And I think she's always tried to maintain that level of um, class and decency. I'm quite intentional about her art and her body and all of that. She's, she's had a, an amazing career as well. Mm. So, you know, kudos to her and all of that. But this story has has gotten bigger than just that, just Oluchi and he her son. Should, yeah, yeah, and it's, it, it brings us back to Nigeria. And I'm not going to lie, um, it's, it's really bad. The limits that you have. You see, if your child is not fantastic in the already existing industries, Thank which are you. quite limited, it is over for your child. It's not a curse, it's not a nickname. It is not a swear. I'm not the one who said it. It's just how it is. Let me tell you what a typical Nigerian mother would say. You can't even race. 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 You Oh, you, uh -huh. you want to... You want to go and be racing. You mm. want to kill yourself. You want to go and clash and die. You want to put die. me into trouble. You want to put me into trouble. You understand? That's what a typical Nigerian The thing Nigerian is, you can't even race here. You. There is no such thing. I think maybe there's one... I think I think there is. There's like one or something. And that's casual. It's not a competition. We don't have... Very like, dusty as yeah, well. Yeah, we don't have any competitive, like, proper structure. And mm -hmm. even if you do, that's not going to take you anywhere. It's not going to help you mm -hmm. be able to you're compete not going anywhere to get globally. By Mac yeah, Larry. nah, nah, you're not. <laughs> yeah, you won't. Um, that's for so sure. So that is a bit sad. I mean, we're not the only ones that are like that. Mm. I think in terms of global competition, Africa in general is mm. a bit behind and just out of the loop of, mm. you know, whatever. But we still have people who thrive if your parents are graceful or not i don't want to even say um because sometimes it's just grace really if, mm. if they have the grace enough to take you out then you know they can they can do that but i've seen too many um talents, talents get um, wasted yeah absolutely and of recent i think what 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 is happening it's not like we don't have this um talents this young ones that have this talent we actually do but i don't know i don't think i really buy this um idea of take for example if he was here in Nigeria and maybe his parents get to like find out he's good at this mm. and you know the next thing they just send the child away like how yeah. about like Structure making the, them the have this thing here like but it's not possible but it's not it's one thing that a lot of people feel so at this to point understand. now are we supposed to be blaming the parents because we have a lot of people that are very talented like are very like the good kids actually i've seen a lot but there's no means is it the parents or the government it's definitely the government exactly. uh, okay. it's definitely the government you you are limited they to don't even support the, such yeah. industries do exactly. you understand the moment and you, know, you is, even that's said like if the child if the parents notice it it's going to be hard for you to notice that kind of talent in Nigeria because how are they showing it? Well, how many times do we put kids in cars? The only way they see that you're in interested racing. in certain things is what you watch on TV. Exactly. So he likes that. to watch yeah. racing. He likes, it doesn't mean he wants to do racing. Yeah, exactly. I like watching but, a lot of stuff. But I don't want to do a lot in, of this stuff. A situation, I think parents should even start paying more attention that way because now, especially the ones that can afford to like take their child to the next level if you have what it takes, because obviously the government is not going to do anything. So yeah. we should pay up. They should, they should, I said we. I'm not yet a parent. <laughs> mm -hmm. They should Maybe pay. Maybe you tell us something, girl. Nah, we can, we can break it on. Yeah, we will. Um, so, um, and we can be godfather and godmother. Me, Dibs, I'm telling you, Dibs yeah. on godmother, you know? please. Eh? Dibs on godmother. You know these are my hands. Or he can, eh? she can sit here. My chair. hands are so... <laughs> <laughs> so they have to pay more attention. If you see a child watching that, yes, I know the fact that they watch it doesn't necessarily mean that that's what they want to do. But you can, like... Start asking them questions. And I see where you're going. I mean, if, if, see if in that's that really regard, what they want. Yeah. I mean, in that regard, parents and the government have to work together, right? Like, the parents are the sole custodians of the child. So they're the ones that have to take responsibility for that child's desire and then do something about it in their society. So mm. I get what I get that what you're saying, that, you know, you have to pick like up Like, when they do that. playgrounds in the estate, yeah. include stuff like that yeah. for kids to develop. Yeah. Because I have a neighbor, so my house is built in such a way that I can actually see into the next compound. Hmm. So I have a neighbor that puts up. Uh, yeah, I can see into the next compound. I hope girls don't leave there. Like, of so course, because you naked. know you can see a window. Would you come out naked? Exactly. <laughs> you get what I mean? So there's this father that I saw, he, he, he put um, artificial grass in his compound, right? He put a football net and all of that. So he's looking like a pitch. Then he has a very little child. And then Saturdays when I'm at home, I notice they come out and he's helping the boy kick the ball into oh. the net, you know, do stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, from a very tender age, he's showing this kid what football is like, mm. what football 
it's sh sh shooting to the yeah. net. That's the whole goal. So even if it's the basic you're teaching a child at a very tender age. So that to me came as a motivation that, look, you can help these kids. And so it doesn't mean that child will grow up and say it's football and want yeah. to play. But the exposure but to already that, that exposure to yeah, that at a very true, tender true. age yeah. is very important. And then the child is coming home. Imagine when that child is two, three, and he comes to his house, he's going into his house, and then he's seeing a net, he's seeing a peach. You know, that's a way of subconsciously building yeah. your interest for yeah, and I think football. that, that also brings me to schools as well. I think schools need to do, especially yeah, the the well. younger, the primary school rather, where um, you really not have it's to start swing. giving it's multiple, What's the give multiple, um, multiple <laughs> exposures of different kinds of sports. Yeah, yes. like I, 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 I know adults right now that grew up in Nigeria and have never even tried volleyball. Mm, They've never true. like tried it they don't long know what tennis. it feels like or long tennis or I've never or pink mm -hmm. so i mean so like you know I, I mean I, I hate sports completely but i i had to do it at some point i say okay you you're in volleyball this week and then you're in this thing this week so at least i know i've touched it and i know mm. i can interact with it and i can know if anything advantages if I was, of going to private university caleb international college to be precise university yet, why, are you private, why, why are you mentioning private private why you mentioning you said you call it university. Yeah. The name of my secondary school. That's my secondary school. You can't take that away from me. It's part of my record. That's not advertisement. Okay. It's part of me. If it's it not part of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> 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 Anyways.